Hello everybody, my name is Grant Marlowe and I'm the Web Analytics Manager at More Visibility. Today we are going to be covering a topic that generates some confusion, cross-domain tracking. We receive a lot of questions in regards to cross-domain tracking. What is it, do I need it, and how do I set it up? So today we are going to go over how to implement cross-domain tracking via Google Tag Manager. First, some information on More Visibility. We're an advertising agency that's founded in 1999 and recognized as a leader since our inception. We were named to the Inc. 500 or 5000 six years in a row, and we're a full-service interactive agency with 16 years of documented results and industry recognition. We're diverse. We work with B2B and B2C clients in numerous industries. So what is cross-domain tracking? Cross-domain tracking is going to allow you to you, your, track your users across multiple domains. And by default, Google Analytics is not going to record this as a single session. It's going to be tracked as two separate sessions. So setting up cross-domain tracking requires additional configuration to your Google Analytics tracking code. Properly set up cross-domain tracking will allow you to stitch together the user sessions even if it spans across multiple domains. From a technical perspective, as a user traverses your site, starting on site A.com and clicks on a link that takes them to site B.com, by default, this is going to start a new session on site B, which is not what we want. And in addition, the source of traffic to site B.com is going to show up as a referral from site A.com and not the originating source, be it a search engine, paid effort, or a newsletter. There are different reasons you may need to set up cross-domain tracking. If you sell a product and your checkout process takes place on another domain, that could be a reason. If you host a blog and that blog is on an entirely different web property, you would use cross-domain tracking. Or if your business has multiple locations, each one represented by a different website, this is another reason you can implement cross-domain tracking. So in order to address this, we need to set up cross-domain tracking so that our client ID, which is passed through the browser's cookie, will persist across both sites and Google Analytics will see that client ID and say, okay, this belongs to the same property, so I'm going to track this as part of the same session. From this, we can understand how our users are navigating between our sites, what site they start on, and what the true source of traffic acquisition is. Setting up cross-domain tracking has certainly gotten easier over the years, and with Google Tag Manager, it is a fairly straightforward process. But it is still possible the implementation is not configured correctly, and more so, it's not always obvious when cross-domain tracking is not working properly. So, a really helpful tool here is to use Google Tag Assistant to help us check that our cross-domain tracking is correctly set up. So, just to get an idea of what's going on, we have our two sites. We have the More Visibility Testing site, as you can see here, as Luxury Travel site. And then we have a link down here that will direct users to the More Visibility website. So if I click on that, we're now crossed over to an entirely different domain here, morevisibility.com, our company website. And the goal here is to implement cross-domain tracking so that as users go from the Luxury Travel site to morevisibility.com, it's continued and stitched together as a single session. So to set up cross-domain tracking in Google Tag Manager, there's a few steps that we need to take. The first is to set up a cross-domain variable in our variable section. And so I've come to this page, and I get here by going to Variables and then clicking New Variable. And I'm going to go ahead and create a constant variable so that we can use this when setting up cross-domain tracking. So I'm going to come over here to the untitled variable, and let's label this GA cross domain. We're going to select constant here from our variable types, and then we're going to paste in from our clipboard the two domains that we want to have our users track between. So we have morevisibility.com and the ga.theoptimizeddesign.com. So we'll hit create variable, and now we can go over to our tags. Once we've set up our cross-domain variable, we can step into our GA page view tag. And within this page view tag, we are going to select more settings, which is in the configure tag option. So we'll expand that out and come down to more settings. 
And then we're going to open up fields to set, and we're going to add two fields here. The first field we're going to add is a field name called allow linker. And we're going to set this to true. This configuration parameter, which is used to set the true value for a domain to pass or accept the cookie information. The next field we're going to add is the cookie domain. Click that, and we're going to set this one to auto. We can close fields to set. And now we're going to come down to cross domain tracking. And this is where you would place the domains that you want to implement cross domain tracking for. Now, you would either type these in, or like we've done with setting up our variable, we can select use the selector here, and we can come down to GA cross domain and hit that one. Now we can hit continue and then save our tag. Now before we publish our tag, best practice is to preview it to make sure our implementation is correct. So let's go ahead and enter preview and debug mode, and then we can go back to our luxury travel site and refresh the page. And now we can see the Google Tag Manager preview mode with the window pane at the bottom. So let's scroll that down. Now what we're going to do is use Google Tag Assistant to help us track our navigation to the other domain and record it so we can see if there's any issues with our configuration. So let's click Tag Assistant up here and record. And we can refresh the page. And now we can navigate over to our other domain, morevisibility.com. And from here, we can see that the client ID is being appended to our URL. So we know our cross-domain is sharing the cookie across the browsers. Let's stop the recording and open up the report and see what we have. So we can see an alert of some kind here, so let's check that out. This hit starts a new session, most likely because the campaign changed. So what this means is analytics starts a new session if it receives a hit with the attribution like a new refer. So if we come down to flow, we can see on page load one on our luxury travel site, we have a session start. But as we move to the next session, it's creating a new session because it's moving to a different domain. So the last thing we want to do as part of this process is to update our referral exclusion list. Although we have set up cross-domain tracking properly, a referral campaign will be generated anytime the refer of a page comes from a host name that doesn't match the domains listed in our referral exclusion list. So to prevent self-referrals when traffic flows between our domains, we want to add an entry for each domain we have set up for cross-domain tracking. This is done in the analytics interface by going to the admin section and in the property column selecting tracking info and then hitting referral exclusion list. Type in the domain you want to exclude. So if you are setting up cross domain tracking for two different domains, you would want to add both of these to your exclusion list. Now that we have updated our referral exclusion list, let's redo our test to make sure everything is correct. So we're back on the luxury travel site and I'm going to start our recording of Tag Assistant. We're going to refresh the page, and then we're going to come down and click over to morevisibility.com. We see the cookie has been appended, the client ID is appended to the URL. Let's stop our recording and check out the report. So we don't see any errors here or alerts. Let's open up and take a look at what we see. And now we can see with the flow, the session has started on Luxury Travel Site and continues through to the More Visibility website. Using Google Tag Manager and Google Tag Assistant together is a great way to troubleshoot any issues. We can see that everything is working correctly, and now we are OK to publish the changes we made to our tag and safely deploy cross-domain tracking. Hopefully, you found this session helpful and have a better understanding of how to set up test and implement cross-domain tracking with Google Tag Manager. If you have time, I would also recommend taking a look at the More Visibility Analytics blog, which is updated regularly with new and upcoming features from Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. If you have questions for the analytics team, please email us at analytics at morevisibility.com. And on behalf of More Visibility, thanks everybody for watching.